Getting set for race number six from Red Shores and Charlotte Towns. The horse is swinging behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Vance Cameron, up to you for the call. Oh, my favorite little girl out of the Ottawa region, Peter, joining me in the booth. Emily's back. It's her last PEI weekend. She's off to school real soon. Going to watch the six with Cal Hanover, 10 Mile Beach, Spack Gerald, Dusty Lane Cortez, Sports Royalty, Fox Valley Riviera, J.K.'s Boy, the Iron Man outside. Post time. Rough and pacing, Fox Valley Riviera leaving out on the rail, Cal Hanover between horses. That's Dusty Lane Cortez, three deep rounding the turn. Away fourth is Ten Mile Beach, coming up fifth on the outside, J.K.'s boy towards the rail, Spack Jero. Then it's Sports Royalty and the trailer, that's the Iron Man. Their quarter pole bound and Barry O has sent. Dusty Lane Cortez right to the engine. Second is Fox Valley Riviera racing from third. That's Cal Hanover. On the rail, fourth is Ten Mile Beach. Fifth is Fact Gerald. Now six is JK's boy. Sports Royalty seventh. And the Iron Man is eight. Twenty-nine seconds flat opened it up. They swing off the turn, straighten down the stretch. The half coming next. The leader. Dusty Lane Cortez by two. Second is Fox Valley Riviera. Cal Hanover third. Continuing fourth, Ten Mile Beach. Spack Jero is fifth. Then in sixth, J.K.'s boy. Sports Royalty seventh. And the trailer, that is the Iron Man, 59. Seconds flat was the midway point. As they move next to the 5-8, it's Dusty Lane Cortez, the heavy favorite in complete control. Fox Valley Riviera second, up the inside third. Ten Mile Beach, three wide fourth. That is Spack Jero. Fifth is J.K.'s boy. Cal Hanover moved out and he hit the wall here by the three-quarters now. Dusty Lane Cortez leading by two. Fox Valley Riviera second. Ten Mile Beach to the rail third. Three-quarters in one. 28 and three with an eighth of a mile left to go. Clear on the lead, Dusty Lane Cortez, homeward bound. Second towards the rail, Fox Valley Riviera, way wide is Sports Royalty in 10 Mile Beach. Dusty Lane Cortez will double up Gilberio. We got three of them across the track in a place picture. Time for the mile in one, 58 and one. If you're looking for your 50-50 tickets, Gail is back in the top of the park. 50-50 uh, tickets, it's your last call in the top of the park. Okay, here's the slow-mo four race number six from Red Shores in Charlottetown. We thought this guy would be very tough. He was coming out of that Atlantic Sire Stake A's group. Back in here tonight from the 4 hole Barrio was driving six for 12, but didn't have a win. Well, he got to the front here tonight and basically controlled it right from the hop. 29, 59, good rating by Jill, 128 and three. And really, it's all over here. Lights out, party over for Dusty Lane Cortez as he finally gets that win here tonight. And it was a going away one, one. 58 and 1. Fox Valley Riviera tracked all the way second, but it looks like the two here. 10 Mile Beach, we liked him. He rallies up and finishes second, and the five sports royalty will be third here with the six Fox Valley Riviera fourth. But no doubt about the winner. There he is, Dusty Lane Cortez and Barrio in the winner's circle next. Into the winner's circle in race six, number four, Dusty Lane Cortez, Bay Pacing Gelding Tree by Westwood Ho Hanover from the Mach 3 Dam, Terra Artis. Stoned by David and Jordan Lewis of Alberton, trained by Devin Wallace, 
Jill Barrio has his second winner for the double, and the Colts has a new record of 158-1. and one. Dusty Lane Cortez in the sixth. 